Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a little bit more of a day in the life. Welcome to my super messy home bedroom. This is where all the YouTube videos started if you look right back a year and a half back. So I'm still back home for Christmas and spending time with my family over Christmas and New Year. So I'll be back to normalities of Leeds in the 2nd, 3rd of January. So today is the 29th, it's currently half 11 right now. So I managed to pick up Alice's book yesterday. So Alice's book officially comes out today on the 29th, along with Zana's book, Strong. Now you all know that I have Zana's book already from when we went to her book launch, um, but this is a full recipe book. So obviously you all know that I do If It Fits Your Macros and Flexible Dating and that kind of thing. But I am getting a little bit bored with just my variety. At the moment so I'm hoping that I can pick up some um, kind of recipes and tips and tricks from their books and I'm gonna try some of the recipes out and let you all know obviously I'll be tracking them as macros that's just how I do things and um, but I'm hoping that some bit more variety in what I eat will maybe help me steer a little bit back towards intuitive eating I've tried intuitive eating before and it didn't quite work as planned I really struggled with it this is gonna be longer than I thought. The thing with dieting and healthy eating methods, um, everything's different for everyone. Like there's not this perfect method. If it fits your macros, doesn't work for everyone and it's not something that I would recommend to everyone. Intuitive eating, the same thing. It's sometimes it's giving you too much um, flexibility. Like everyone is different and it depends completely on your situation your lifestyle for me flexible dieting works because it means that I can plan everything in I know what I'm having I know that I'm hitting my targets and I'm on track and at the end of the day my flexible dieting habits have changed over the years so I've been flexible dieting now for about two years I want to say two and a bit years and when I first started flexible dieting I was prepping for a competition so obviously my prep flexible dieting was pretty intense. I was weighing absolutely everything in sight, whether it be my seasonings, my sauces, my vegetables. I was weighing absolutely every motherfucker that went onto my plate, <laughs> excuse my language. And that kind of got a little bit unhealthy to be honest. And I recognized that and I went away from it and kind of took a step back and started intuitive eating. That really didn't work for me at all. I went from having all control, um, to having no control and looking back now it was quite an un unhealthy time for me I wouldn't say I was ever in an eating disorder or anything like that but I did struggle so this is one thing that really like stuck with me and resonated when I realized that I was getting a little bit obsessed with flexible dieting my parents would come around for tea every week back when I wasn't very well and they would come around for tea every week and I had to buy a separate oven roasting tray so that I could put my sweet potato or whatever carb sauce or whatever we were eating that day and um, I would put my my carb sauce and all my vegetables so we'd have things like carrots, broccoli, asparagus, like a big amount of vegetables and I'd have to weigh everything out, put it into the oven roasting tin and then that was mine and it was then looking back that I realised like you took it way too far so it's about finding that balance really but recognizing any unhealthy behaviors and kind of nipping in them in the bud because like I'm, I'm in a much better place with flexible dieting now so like I said I don't track my like seasonings or sauces that much I just kind of estimate and especially because I've been doing it for two years I kind of know what portion sizes are now so before things like rice it had to be down to the grain whereas now I just kind of okay half a pack of Uncle Ben's like I can kind of guesstimate what 125 grams of it looks like and, and I'm fine with that and my physique is fine with that I think if you are prepping that's a completely different story but from a health perspective um the way that I am managing my like my meals and my fuel now is a lot healthier so yes that was my little spiel in my <laughs> old bedroom I'm so sorry I really hope that you enjoyed that little kind of insight into kind of what kind of dieting methods I use now if you would like to see more of it make sure you leave me a comment down below and shall we just get into the rest of the video I promise I am actually filming a video today I'm not just rambling at the camera so we are gonna head to the gym I'm going for a walk later on I've got some bits and bobs I need to do so let's go before I <laughs> run out of time Okay. Yay! 
castle has arrived. Oh, parcel has arrived. The floor is so glittery after yesterday's parcel. Yes. Okay, so this is the slingshot hip circle, and I've been wanting one of these for ever. But I didn't actually realize that they shipped to the UK or had a distributor in the UK, should we call it. So this is the Slingshot Hip Circle. Slingshot do all the kind of like, um, I think they're just called slingshots. The ones that you can use when you're bench pressing and stuff like that. But they do hip circles as well. Now this is, oh my god, this is so strong. I got the grippy one. This has got like blue grippy strips. Um, that I think basically just stops it from riding up and down your legs. I really hope it doesn't rub up my Lulu's, but it doesn't look like Velcro or anything like that, so hopefully it should be okay. So let's test it out. Okay, so it's nice and thick, nice and sturdy. Oh my god! Okay, I've just ripped the slingshot thingamajig here. I don't know why they think, think that'll not stretch, but I mean, I got big thighs. Oh my god, this is amazing. Fuck me. My butt. Butt, 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 butt. Okay, let's go. Still trying to work out what I'm going to train today. Got that hip circle, but definitely want to train glutes. But then I went for a run the other day. Right, this is a lesson to all you kids out there. I went for a run in the, like, ice cold the other day. And great run, really blew the cobwebs off, felt really good, but was freezing by the end of it. And decided to just skip the cool down and come straight into the nice warm and cosy up on the sofa and watch a film. And I seized up for three days. I had worse doms than, like it honestly felt as if I'd done like a massive squat PB or like something like that. I felt, honestly, it felt like I'd done like 200 kilograms. Sam's like laughing at me right now, but I looked like a penguin. I looked like a penguin who'd pooped herself. I might do upper body, I'm gonna see. But pre-workout, I'm gonna have some of these go free rice krispies. So they're just gluten free rice krispies, which for anyone that's not actually allergic to gluten and is just kind of intolerant, you might be okay with normal rice krispies. But in the normal rice krispies, they have barley in them, which is something that irritates my stomach as well. But if you aren't fully gluten free and you're just gluten intolerant, maybe try the normal ones. Um, or other cereal has wheat in it, so that's a no-go, but this one just has barley, so maybe give it a try. But we don't have scales here, so tip of the day, I'm using um, like American measuring cups, just not to track it into my fitness pal or anything like that, but just so that I have portion control because these things are very easy to overeat. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.
just made up, as you just saw, my peanut butter rice noodle stir fry thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we got it right here. How good does that look? And obviously this will have already gone out by the time this video goes out, but this is the picture we just got for Instagram. How cool does that look? And just a little insight, I definitely had to reheat my food after we'd taken those pictures. That is the life of a blogger. Sometimes I just want to eat my food, but I can't. But I'm going to tuck into this right now. This is post-workout, so rice noodles are gluten-free. So I have rice noodles rather than anything else, and they don't irritate my stomach because they're literally plain, and you just have to just like season them with what have you. So I use the My Protein peanut butter which didn't mix very well at all to be honest but I think that I haven't mixed it up in a while so it had gone quite dry but I'm gonna get this in me. Nom 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 nom.